I work with situations and spaces and the mediums, so my work is usually medium-specific and site-specific. I made three site-specific works and I'm working on site also. Because I'm working on site, of course, people come in, depends. Some people are very shy and they don't want to bother me or it's, I think, for some people unclear if the show is finished or not. But I'm also interested in this aspect of exhibition as genre, that it's not just a presentation of work, but it's a thing in itself. And some people ask about everything. I think especially because it's so nerdy, it's really like this very huge analog photography. So some people ask me all the specifics about lenses and exposure times, so it, it gets very technical. What was really interesting for me with uh, teenagers who grew up with different uh, apparatuses, that's always interesting talking to generations for whom film doesn't have anything to do with photography. Often when you have shows, you just, you know, you install and then you leave after the opening. And it's a different way of getting to know a space. Because this house was so full of presence. With the site-specific works, I was really interested in working with the space. And because the architecture is a layer added to these layers, which are already here, I wanted to work with this layering and layer again. <laughs> If you work with images, if you shoot images, it has this aspect of showing but also replacing reality. So it shows something, but by showing it also makes it invisible. The three site-specific works play with this and with the relationship to the edge. The huge work in on the back wall, I noticed once things have a certain scale, they become invisible again. And it's also a goodbye in a way to analog color photography. The large format is on its way out. The papers are getting smaller and smaller and it's harder and harder to get material. And then there's two works that I brought, one that I shot in Secession and exhibited there 2020. I had a show there during the very first lockdown and used the exhibition as a site of production. And then work from Kim in Riga which I also used to work with the archive of a Latvian photographer, Santa Tsipitinska. For me, what's getting increasingly difficult is, or always was, is this navigating between jobs, exhibitions, communication. It's hard to find these slots where you can actually work. What I do is I often produce my artwork on the side of, of my money jobs. I'm here doing my unrolling because I'm using this space for maintenance work. So I'm cleaning up my archive during the show. I guess it's in a way a burnout prevention show. And finishing an artwork for an exhibition in Vienna um, on the floor in the back corner. And I'm afraid I might have to do my taxes while I'm here on the side. 